Hi and welcome to part 3 of my Disney Benders speed paints where I take different characters from the Disney movies and draw them with an outfit of the element in the Avatar universe I think they would most likely have. However, this is all just based on my own opinion and nothing is set in stone. I just wanted to sort the characters to the elements for fun because I enjoy doing it. I also think it's fun, for example, to sort characters to Hogwarts houses or anything like that. So if you have different opinions about any of these characters, you can definitely leave a comment below with what you think. For this video we have five characters again and as always I'm gonna first talk about the personality of each of the characters then I'll shortly describe what kind of outfit I chose for them and lastly why I picked which element and I'll also go into the MBTI minus Briggs personality types and kind of compare them to other characters of the show to find similarities and possible connections they have. Let's start with the first character and it's Ariel for her personality. She's a very adventurous and curious person. She can also be naive and carefree. For her outfit I chose Sokka's shirt with long pants from Katara's outfit. I also gave her a pearl necklace and left this kind of small hair tie thing for her hair because I saw that it's in many of the Disney artworks she has this hair pulled back and I think it looks really pretty so why not leave it there and the pearl necklace it really fits Ariel in my opinion simply because she was a mermaid and has connections to the water and it fits the water banners as well. That's also because of her connection to the water from the movie. That's also why I chose for her to be a waterbender. But it also makes sense from her personality. Because she's very loyal and sensitive. But if she wasn't a waterbender, I would say she could also be an airbender. Because she's very playful and a little childlike. Obviously not every airbender is like this. But it's just a likely trait for many airbenders and for her MBTI personality type she's an ENFP which is also angst type. I definitely see a lot of similarities there. Another person I would say she's kind of similar to is Sokka who is an ENTP which is also just one letter off but he's from the water tribe. Next up is Eugene from the Tangled movie. For his personality he's a very loyal and comedic person. He's also brave. He can also be arrogant and impulsive. Especially if you've seen Tangled the series it's often clear that he's aware of his own arrogance but he still acts that way. Most of the time he's really funny. For his outfit I chose basically Zuko's outfit but I gave him a headband that Aang wears when he's dressed up as a firebender. In my opinion, his head overall turned out too big, which makes him look kind of weird. And I realized that his eyes are, in comparison to all the other characters, very small. And his general face shape is also very different. Even the DreamWorks boys have a more similar face to the girl characters or the Disney princesses. Eugene just has rather long and not as soft and round face. He has also a bigger nose and wider jaw. <laughs> it must have been the first time in forever I ever drew a beard. And style-wise I have to say I definitely prefer like more rounded and soft faces and small noses. But I guess that's the thing for many people. I'm not into the kind of look Eugene goes for but I know that many people find him attractive and handsome. I'm just not one of them. Now let's go to why I picked him to be a firebender. So in general firebenders are very goal driven and can also be intense and mischievous which definitely is the case for Eugene and also his tendency to be arrogant or impulsive it just fits for him. As for the people he reminds me of, there are some. 
or his Myers-Briggs personality type. He has Suki's type, which is an ESTP. Yeah, I kind of see the similarities between them, even though Suki seems a little kinder, but they both can be mischievous and have a lot of fun. The type ESTP that Eugene has is also Kai's type from The Legend of Korra. They also are a lot alike, in my opinion. Just the fact that they used to be robbers and steal things. Then he also kind of reminds me of Sokka. So if he was in a group, yeah, he would be like the comedic relief guy who takes the bad, serious situations and tries to ease the situation and yeah, make everyone feel relieved. I actually also found a firebender who's similar to him, personality type-wise, which would be Marco because Marco is an ISTP and he's an ESTP, so yeah, Marco is just more introverted than Eugene, but overall they share a lot of personality traits. However, in general, Eugene reminds me most of Kai, but for his element, I'd say he would be a firebender. And next we have Rapunzel from the same movie from Tangled. And as for her personality, she's a very, very optimistic and joyful person. She's also childlike and can be naive. She always trusts people easily and sees the best in them, which can be good and bad. <laughs> for her outfit, I just picked kind of the Sakura inspired Airbender outfit. But her shirt's like a t-shirt. At first I wasn't sure if she should have a skirt or just pants, but I think yeah, Rapunzel would like to be able to move very freely and so on. And that's why I just gave her this look. And it's probably the first time in very long since I've drawn long hair, which is so long that it's laying on the floor. I think this only really happens when I'm drawing Rapunzel, or it only has happened when I've drawn Rapunzel. And in the series and in the movie, <laughs> Rapunzel isn't wearing any shoes. So I think even though I drew her with boots here, I could also see her walking around without any shoes often. I mean, if you kind of train your feet to be able to withstand like the floor and everything and stones, then it's possible to do that. So if she was an airbender actually, and if she was an avatar universe, I think she could very likely be one of those people who can just walk around anywhere without shoes. You can see that I picked the element air for her and I think it's just so clearly her because her personality type is ENFP and it's Aang's personality type as well. And I can definitely see how similar they are and how they always try to see the best in people and are very optimistic and also enthusiastic. They both want they both want very peaceful solutions if possible. And also that yeah, childlike playfulness just really fits to airbenders. However, if Rapunzel was to ride on a flying bison or so, I think she would have to put her hair in a braid or something. <laughs> because if she didn't, it would kind of around like a flag or something. Her long hair would generally cause some problems if she was in an avatar universe, if she doesn't <laughs> put it in a braid or something. And for the fourth character, we have Belle. For her personality, I picked that she's very intelligent and compassionate. She's also confident and she can be stubborn. For her outfit, she has basically Cora's shirt thing, but then I gave her this skirt and long pants. I also kind of played around with if I wanted her to have like a cape or even some of her hair in the front. And I really like how her hairstyle turned out. It's just inspired from the movie, but I think it looks really nice. You can see that the element I picked for her was air. If I had to pick a character that's a lot like her, I would say it's Genora. So not every airbender has to be like this super playful and childlike person because I think very wise people or spiritual people are also very likely to be airbenders. For Genora and Belle, the intelligence and wisdom part would definitely be very strong. For the MBTI Myers-Briggs personality type, Bell is an INFP and with that, if you remember, Aang was an ENFP and she's basically very similar but rather introverted. Jinora is an INFJ so she's only one letter off as well so yeah there's some similarities there. Other than being an airbender I could 
definitely see Belle as being a waterbender as well because she's very disciplined and can be perfectionistic. In general, she is also very responsible. In the movie, when her father went away, she was treated very badly and everything. She still stand up for herself and it would either be air or water to me. For the last person for this video, we have Pocahontas who's uh, pretty spiritual and she's independent and pretty noble so she seems very mature but she also has like a little playful side when she's in the movie when she's with her raccoon friend. For her outfit I went with a Kyoshi Warrior kind of top part and then but then I gave her a short skirt and some pants underneath and no shoes because <laughs> in the movie she also doesn't wear any shoes. If you remember from my first video where I drew Aladdin, I drew him as an earthbender as well and I didn't draw any shoes on him. And yeah, I think for earthbenders, because they always feel the floor under their feet, some of them would probably prefer not to wear shoes just so they are always connected with the earth. I mean, uh, it's the case for Toph. She has uh, <laughs> her shoes which have no soles so she can really feel the earth under her feet. So I think for earthbenders it can be pretty useful not to wear shoes actually. And also it gives you like freedom. <laughs> In general, Pocahontas as a person does remind me of the Kyoshi warriors a lot. And I think her and Mulan are the ones that I could see being a Kyoshi warrior very well. What I struggled with with Pocahontas was her hair. I wanted it to look very flowy and just like it has a lot of energy but I really struggled with this. Obviously in the movie I think it's a very strong part about her character design that she has this long open flowy hair which resembles the freedom she has. At one point in the beginning I also thought about putting it in a bun but no I <laughs> think uh, Pocahontas and just her long hair are very iconic so that's why I kept it. But I'm still not very happy with how the whole silhouette and the hair with the body together turned out. For her element, you can see that I picked Earth, but I also see her as a waterbender. For one, for the Earth-like attributes she has, she's adaptable and can sometimes be stubborn. And for the waterbender-like attributes, she can also be very loyal and sensitive and graceful. But then again, there's also this kind of side with the wind and that she is a very spiritual person. So I think she's one of the people I could see as almost every element and just fire the least for people she's like. So first of all, her Myers-Briggs personality type is an ISFP. This is the same type as Zuko's, but I honestly don't see that many similarities in the way they are acting in their movies or <laughs> in the series, but I think this of course has to do with that they live in different environments and everything but for Earth and Waterbenders Pocahontas kind of reminds me of. It's obviously Toph at first and Toph is an ISTP which is yeah one letter off of Pocahontas being ISFP. I really can see Pocahontas being this strong person on her own which Toph definitely is. And then there's Cora which she reminds me of as well. Maybe even more and Cora's an ESFP, so she's basically just more extroverted than Pocahontas is. I can definitely see the similarities there. I think that's it for this video with the five characters I drew. You can comment if you think differently about how the characters would fit in the Avatar universe or just if you agree what arguments you have, I don't know. Um, and also if you have any advice on improvements you could make like outfit wise. And you can also comment which design you like the most or which of them is your favorite character at just um, anything in general. I really enjoy just talking about these characters and fandoms. 
but other than that i hope you liked the video and i hope you'll have a great day and there will be a part four for this and you can check out the other two parts that were before this if you like this video but goodbye